Well, the big breakthrough album for me would be the Joker, right? I mean, that's uh, yeah. That was that was the first big hit. success. That, that was like uh, that was like a viral tune that had nothing to do with the record company. It just went out. Did you write that quick? The Joker was just a song that. You know, it was one of those pieces of music I had had that I really liked the guitar parts. And How like, long had you had that piece of music in your head? Yeah, six months or something. I and see. I had, you know, I mean, I was working on kind of like I'm rocking me and the Joker and take the money and run. And they, I could switch the lyrics to one to the other. Right. You know, it's very easy to do. And the Joker just sort of got came into focus and didn't really know what we were doing you know right. it was just cool and the slide guitar part was neat and i liked the harmony and i was very happy that finally i was getting like the 12 string sound i wanted and when you played for the record company are they excited did they think you've hit into something i played it for this group of people that were like in the promotion department at about one o'clock in the afternoon and this one kid said hey i, I think the joker's a hit and i said <laughs> listen man don't worry about singles just try and get some albums in the stores and the cities I'm playing in. Here's a list of 60 cities I'm leaving this yeah. afternoon. And when I got back, it was number one all over the world. You know, it was, it was like, that finally like that had to be a rush, right? Because that puts you on the map. You know, you're never happy, right, Howard? I mean, like I remember driving to the Fox Theater in Oakland to do a show because we were still playing, you know, little 2,000 seat things. Nothing had changed. Yeah, because we had booked the tour in advance, right? And uh, I was driving, I was back, we were f finishing up this part of the tour, and, and I was listening to the radio, and the Joker was on four radio stations, but I was pissed off because it wasn't on the fifth station <laughs> in San Francisco. Crazy? Yeah, I mean, yeah. what? What was the hook you came up with for the Joker? Like, what, was, what first came to you? What did you hear in your head? Well, you know, it was all after the fact. What I was doing, I didn't know what I was doing. I, I was just playing it, and I loved the way it sounded, and I loved the chorus. So the chorus was really great. Yeah. The slide guitar solo was great. The whistle was really great. The super laid-back kind of... So just, you know, this character who is just like, you know, so lazy and laid back. It, it was really, uh, you know, a great thing. And, and on, you know, more singles after that, I mean, we got better and better and better right. at it. Would you do a little bit of the, uh, of the Joker? The Joker. Some people call me the space cowboy Some call me the gangster of love Some people call me Maurice Cause I speak of the pompadous of love People talk about me baby Yeah Say I'm doing you wrong, doing you wrong. Don't you worry, no, darling, no, don't worry. Cause I'm right here, right here, right here, right here at home. Cause I'm a picker, I'm a grinner, I'm a lover, and I'm a sinner. Play my music in the sun. And I'm a joker, I'm a smoker, I'm a midnight toker. I get my love and on the run, yeah. Like that. Oh, beautiful. You got it. Beautiful. That's a nice song.